Hello, everybody, and welcome to Inside Wofford Football. I'm Jim Noble. This past first road game of the season, heading to Chattanooga to take on the Mocs. A little bit different dynamic this week, coming off that great season opening win against Mercer. This time it was the Terriers with a game under their belt. Well, the box are playing for the first time this spring. Let's pick up the first half action from Finley Stadium in Chattanooga. Gain of eight, Wyrick again. Wofford comes out throwing two completions. This is Van Cleve. Demarie Van Cleve has the first down up close to midfield. Pickerington, Ohio, he's a sophomore. And he will throw again. This time it's complete as well. He's three of three passing. And Wyrick will again throw, pressured, he'll run. Wyrick to the 20, gets to the 15, and he's popped hard in the first down for the Terrier. 173 yards, and he's off to a quick start. Here's the give inside the 10-yard line, goes Irvin Mulligan. Defensive line was in on the tackle. Here's Wyrick on the option, the keeper, the touchdown. First rushing touchdown for Jimmy Wyrick. Third down seven, here's Drake Arnold. Henderson for a first down, shy of the 40-yard line, and Henderson finally shoved out of bounds. Strange, a field steal, preseason All-American. Here goes Price again with a hole. And the mocks have it inside Wofford territory. And rank number 11 in the country. Third and long for the Mox. Arnold oh. threads the needle, and wow. it's caught inside the 25 to the 20-yard line, and a first down, Jay Gibson. Coming out of there like a dart. I mean, he's got a nice... Arm strength. Price looking for a hole. And Terrell Price continues to muscle. The Chattanooga first down. He got just inside the 10 yard line. Two yard line. Arnold throws. Right Touchdown. Jay Gibson. How about that? Jay Gibson with his first start of his career gets the touchdown. And Wyrick will throw on the run. Wide, Wide open. open. Pass is caught. Across the 40-yard line, it's DeMarie Van Cleef. And here's Mulligan, finds a hole, gets across midfield and a first down. Wofford stays on the option, Wyrick, the keeper, first down to the Chattanooga 34. Walker, Walker was their workhorse last week. This is Mulligan, and he is met by the Chattanooga defense and stopped. Yards in the first half. They stay on the ground, Walker to the 20. Well shy of the first down. Sophomore from North Carolina. And the 36 yard attempt is up and it is good. Let's see if he can pin the Terriers back. Fair catch called for and then dropped. Uh oh. <clears throat> loose ball. Balls loose. Let's see who's got it. Chattanooga says they've recovered. Cole Hinky comes out of the pile with it after the ball was loose on the turf, and Hinky comes up with it. Just a tremendous play for Cole Hinky, the Chattanooga native. Price. Second effort, touchdown. Terrell Price puts Chattanooga in the lead. And that motions into the backfield for Chattanooga, and they'll use him as a lead blocker, clearing a path for Geno Appleberry. And Appleberry gets out across the 25-yard. Three of six so far on third down. Arnold going for Henderson. Oh Henderson my makes the catch. Wow, what a catch. Right on the back of the defender's helmet. He made it against Kagan Campbell. Moshe's now heads back to the far side. Here's Arnold to throw again. Again, his target is Henderson. And he's out of bounds at the 25. Opening drive of the third quarter. Drayton Arnold throws. Complete. Wow. First down inside the 15 yard line. Jay Gibson. Arnold. Big pressure. Sacked. It was Tanner Barnes. Barnes has been the active defensive lineman today for Wofford. It has Gabe Boring to hold. And Wilson to extend the Chattanooga lead. It is no good. He missed it to the left. And our score remains 14 10. Chattanooga. Drayton Arnold, and that sack took the mocks and pushed them back. And here's a big run by Wofford. 
Lovelace goes for a first down. End of the field. And here's Wyrick on the option. The pitch out, Mulligan. Mulligan first down inside the 30. Couple of games and then decided to take the red shirt. Here's Lovelace. And again, he rips the hole right through the middle of the Chattanooga defense. Inside the 15, he goes to the 14-yard line. Here's Lovelace. Spins away from a tackler. Gets inside the 10. Brandon Dowdell made another stop for Chattanooga. With a field goal up and true. Goal from Wofford to make it a one-point game. Arnold to throw, pass complete. Kenori McKinnon, his first catch of the day, Whoa. and he breaks free. McKinnon across the 45-yard line. Makes the stop. That's a couple of South Carolina guys hooking up there. Arnold again oh, throws, Manning. complete Manning, middle of the field, inside the 20-yard line, and the mocks are back inside the red zone. Another big catch from Andrew Manning, his second of the day. Gets Drayton Arnold on the ground, and there's a Chattanooga touchdown. Geno Appleberry goes into the touchdown for the mock score. Uh, Mox Cole Strange was engaged in the block, and the umpire, after they get in the end zone right there, boom, he gets the worst of it. Oh, my God. Into the end zone for the touchdown. Drayton Arnold to throw over the middle. Pass complete. Reggie Henderson inside the 30-yard line. Drayton Arnold. 207 passing today. Here he is again. Throwing for Henderson. He makes the catch and is out of bounds. Back. And done well. Arnold on third down. Has time. End zone. Incomplete. Goes in and out of the arms of Tyron Arnett. And Skyler Wilson. It's Wofford that knocked the ball out of the quarterback from Mercer's hands early in the game. That resulted in a turnover. And here's a turnover. Brandon Dowdell intercepts Jimmy Wyrick. Ball was underthrown, and Dowdell comes away with the pick. Second turnover of the day for Chattanooga. 10-yard line. And a bad oh. snap gets Pye Boring. And Boring will fall on it at the 26-yard line, and that is where Wofford will take over. First time the mocks have turned it over today. And here's the snap. Pressured, throwing it up for grabs. Ooh. Incomplete pass. What an effort. Sanders tried to make the diving catch at it, and he comes up empty. Check that it was Luther. TJ Luther tried to make the catch, comes up empty. Arnold, he'll have to hurry here, and he gets it off with a second left. Terrell Price to the 15, maybe the 16-yard line. Practicing <laughs> in high schools because right. there was new turf being put down at the – as Wyrick will be thrown down, and that will be how the game ends. Questioning up uh, your thoughts on the game. Yeah, I mean, I thought, you know, I thought defensively up front, I told this to the guys, I thought we battled, uh, you know, we're down – we're down defensive linemen. We had a couple outside linebackers playing D-line for us today. And, you know, they battled it out uh, the best we could, but it, it took its toll on us towards the end of the game. Uh, obviously, we didn't play well enough, didn't, didn't do a good enough job uh, scoring points in the red zone, which we did last week. Um, didn't move the ball very well, and we didn't get, get off the field um, on defense when we needed to on third down, which obviously uh, allowed them to keep the ball, and, and that was kind of the Achilles heel for us today. And that, speaking of, you know, not being able to get them off you know, that first drive of the third quarter. It was yeah. Sort of like that was the game itself. No, it was. I felt like we needed to get off the field, at, you know, maybe three plays or six plays. But when that went for eight minutes, we finally got off the field with no points, which was good. But um, we gave them the ball too long, and those reps obviously let you know start to stack themselves up a little bit. And then, you know, we we didn't do a good enough job scoring points when we needed to um, on offense. So. Uh, didn't play very well, and we got a lot to improve upon, obviously, moving forward. Um, I know it's early. Do you see any positives out of the game at all? Yeah, I mean, we got a lot of young guys that are taking really good reps, especially in the back end. So that's going to that's gonna pay huge dividends for us moving forward. Um, I think we saw some things up front with some defensive linemen that haven't played a lot, that battled their tails off in there. Um, and that will, that will prove them really well moving forward. Um, you know, and I, I think any time we get as many reps as we're taking, you know, Jimmy taking more reps, um, that that'll be a positive for us. So, you know, I, again, I think the reality of it is it's a, it's a good check for us. To say, hey, you know, we got a lot of work to do. We got a lot of improvements to make um, as a program. Now, looking ahead to next week against BTSU, um, what are you going to do 
Well, we're going to have to do a better job of stopping the run, and then we got to do a better job of being able to get off the field on third down on defense. Um, and we got to clean up the kicking game. You know, our special teams was not good at all. Um, returners did not make good decisions. We obviously missed the one, which cost us a touchdown there. So anytime you make those mistakes in, in this conference, you're going to lose the football game um, a lot of times. So you can't overcome them, you know, and, and we didn't play well enough on offense to overcome those mistakes. So uh, we kind of got what we got, and we'll go and, and repair and uh, retool and learn from it and get ready to go for next week. Well, obviously not what the doctor ordered for Wofford this time out, but it might be one of those crazy seasons in the Southern Conference. You saw VMI upset Furman. You saw Sanford roar out to a big lead and then had to hold off the Citadel. So stay tuned. The Terriers will be next in action at Gibbs Stadium this coming Saturday, a 1 p.m. kickoff against East Tennessee State. For Inside Wofford Football, I'm Jim Noble.